how has content warning already got over 200,000 peak players? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> While this might look like a silly little party game, what if I told you that this was the most genius game launch ever and that I had found the secret ingredients for why it was so successful, starting with the plan? Uh, yeah, 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 everyone. Shut up. Today. Step one, you go down to the old world. <laughs> Step two, you film something scary. Step three, you upload to Spooktube. Hi, dog. <laughs> I didn't know how much film I had, I'm sorry. And step four, you go viral. And just like step four, the developers are making this game go viral. Now the way the game works is simple. You and your squad live in a sweet YouTuber house, where you sleep, bounce around like morons, and make silly faces. Wow. Nice eyebrows. You try capturing crazy stuff on your camera in the old world to get popular and make money so that you can spend your money to buy more equipment, to make better videos, to get more popular. Sound familiar? We just got dropped off in the middle of an abandoned city and we're gonna spend the next seven days here. Everything in content warning is clever, poking at people's obsession over content creators, all the while hitting the exact same fun points of another popular indie title. Except rather than focusing on horror, it focuses on silliness. I'm Carson, this is Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and since your team only has one camera with limited battery life, you have to carefully choose what you record, making the highlight reel at the end absolutely wild. Basically, you get to feel like a YouTuber exploring a cheesy haunted house, screwing around with your friends. But unlike the real world, there are lasers, grenades, what the f and actual monsters. People are calling it Lethal Company meets Jackass, which I think is a perfect description. So Content Warning is a blast to play thanks to its unique mechanics, but there are plenty of other really fun unique games that never see this much success. How did Content Warning's developers come out of nowhere and make a game like this? Well, the answer is they didn't. They made popular games before. Nothing like this, but success is nonetheless. And after analyzing Content Warning, its developers, and their launch strategy, I noticed something different, something interesting. This game breaks all the rules of the gaming industry. The company who made Content Warning was Landfall, which has already released multiple titles. Some of you probably recognize them. Games like Stick Fight, Total Accurate Battle Simulator, and my personal favorite, Rounds. So Landfall isn't new to the playing field. They've made millions developing co-op indie games, but none of their other titles have ever had this level of virality. So why is this game taking off? Well, most studios that make successful games do a lot of marketing to get players excited. And because Landfall has experience, they know this. So to help bring awareness to content warning, they marketed the crap out of it. Except they actually didn't do that. Other than a few cryptic tweets and a trailer that literally dropped the day it released, they didn't market the game at all. Now, most people understand to successfully market a game, you need to get as many eyes as possible before launch day. But Landfall completely ignored the conventional strategies, doing the opposite. And despite the total lack of marketing, the game exploded. So if marketing isn't the reason this game is doing so well, maybe it's because they gave the game away for free. Since 2016, Landfall Studios have been releasing games on April Fools, aka Landfall Day, and on multiple occasions they have released their game for free for a limited time. However, none of their other free games have ever seen this level of virality. I mean, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds released for free too, and it didn't get 6 million downloads in one day. Not to mention there are countless free games on Steam. Just because something is free doesn't mean you get 200,000 concurrent players. So if being free isn't the reason, what is it? Is it because it's riding off Lethal Company's success? It's got the same goofy graphics, the same day structure, proximity chat, not to mention you explore an area full of monsters. But even though they look similar, content warning is not a ripoff. Instead of collecting scraps for a faceless corporation, you put your life at risk for your own spooktube fame. And that simple twist makes it feel completely different and unique, really leaning into what made Lethal Company so fun. Content Warning is not just another copycat, riding on Lethal Company's fame. So if the similarity to another popular game isn't a good explanation for its success, maybe it's thanks to all those viral clips on social media. Now, I learned about Content Warning on day one because a friend saw a clip on Twitter, a simple video made with the tools inside the game. And what's so amazing about Content Warning's in-game tools is that you can take videos you make in-game and share them on social media. I can't overstate how brilliant this is. The gameplay 
is the marketing. Creating videos in game that are funny are pre-packaged and ready to be shared. It's only been a few days and videos from Content Warning are all over YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. Why market your game when your game can market itself? With all these people sharing clips, everyone will learn about Content Warning without Landfall having to lift a finger. So this is why Content Warning is blowing up. Everyone is sharing their funny clips. But that can't be the only reason for its virality, for its success. While this game does make it easy to share content in a unique way, plenty of games before have had theater modes and tools to share gameplay. So if that isn't the full picture, what has made this one of the greatest video game launches ever? The truth is, there isn't one secret ingredient that made Content Warning successful. It's the whole recipe. First, the gameplay is some of the most fun you will ever have in a co-op game. Second, giving the game away for free made picking it up frictionless. Number three, making a game modeled after Lethal Company but with a twist made it relevant. And number four, the lack of marketing was a good thing because the curiosity around this game broke the internet. And the organic marketing was better than anything Landfall could have paid for. There are many layers to the success of Content Warning, but they all work perfectly together. And when you add up all of those layers, you get one of the greatest game launches in history. Now, I make a lot of videos about indie games, and Landfall has made some of my favorites, so please go check them out. They do a great job. There's a link in the description below, and don't forget to wishlist their upcoming game, Haste, Broken Worlds on Steam. Peace.